It sound good? Let us know how it sounds, y'all, in the comments. We just want to make sure it sounds good for everyone in here. Cool. So we are we're live. We're live at five. Actually, it's seven thirty. Yeah, we are not live at five. We're supposed to be live at six, and it's seven thirty. You could turn down my vocals a little bit and his vocals down just a little bit. Yeah, you could turn them both down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yes, yes, yes. Damn, baby, y'all. I need All right, first time. Bit. First time we're going live on stream. Yeah, this is uh, it's different because normally I can edit things out <laughs> if we, if we mess up, but we're live, so we're live. We gotta mind our p's and q's. Make sure. Uh, yeah, that's gonna drive me crazy. No, no, I got it off now, so we're good. All I just right, wanted to make sure the audio was good and everything was cool. Yeah, um, so this is our first time. Uh, we're testing out this this live format. So if you're watching live, thank you for tuning in. But appreciate you. If not, uh, then you're probably listening on Apple or Spotify or YouTube or YouTube. Which in that case, this already happened. You missed it. You missed it. We're doing live streams now, though. So if you want to come check it out. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. This is the test one. This is uh, it's all about the live streams now, though, bro. How many uh, how many times have you live streamed? Can you could you count? Could you guess? Yeah, no, I actually did that recently. So I think I've done about. I think the dude messaged it to me today. Who's the dude? I got a guy. I got, there's this one guy on my Reddit. hacker. <laughs> so I've done. Try and take a guess how many streams I've done since I started. Forty. Nope. More or less. More. More. Wow. 50? 60? No. 100. 98 streams oh since my August. Since August? Since August. That's crazy. A couple two a days. Yeah, that's wild to even think about. A couple days off, but been active. 98. Yeah. Past 3 million on the streams, though. Amazing. That's kind of wild. That's very wild, bro. <laughs> that's like, it's the future. It's the future. Michigan's locked back down. I can't believe that. It looked a little promising for a minute. So Michigan, if whoever's watching that's not in Michigan, I mean, it's just been like crazy. Absolutely wild. And for a minute, though, you could have shows. We almost threw a show because you could have like, I think it was like up to like 500 people. We were so close to throwing an event. An outdoor one in the fall. And then we thought about it, and we were Too like... Rushed. We're not going to be a super spreader. That's not how we're going to be labeled. Yeah, we were just like, what are we doing? It's a pandemic right now. and Literally a pandemic. We don't need to be We were going to throw it at our at our new building, which is like so under... It's like not even close to being... Yeah, we're not there yet. Our vision. So, you know, why rush it? So in the meantime, we're live. We're live at 7.30. At 7.30. We made it. Episode yep. 12. It's honestly, it feels like we should have more episodes done by now. Really? But I feel like, feel like, uh, feel like we should be past twelve. But you we're, know, we're chipping away. Yeah, each show takes a, takes a minute. This one, I don't think, will be that in depth. No, it's just gonna be fun. This is our this is our New York comeback. Yes, this <laughs> is our this is our New York comeback. In parentheses, <laughs> we're not coming back. We're not coming <laughs> back. This is, uh, so our last show was. Well, the first time we went to New York together before he says this, we said that show already, right? What? We told the story of the first time we went to New York together. Oh, yeah. Go on our YouTube. Our, our, it's called, I think it's called our NYC Adventure. Yeah. And this show that we threw, New York is Spinning, was our comeback. That was our comeback. Yeah. Yeah. New York is crazy, bro. Yeah. New York is like. It's just a whole different beast, and every time I lose money, and every time, I every just, time it just kicks my my booty. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a it's a hard city to like operate in. Yeah, I mean you got to be like you got to you got to be at one fifty every day. Yeah, and you got to have everything Full dialed speed. in because if you forget something, if you do, it's like everything. Just like getting around, everything takes like maximum effort. You know. Like, I remember me and, uh, oh, I like that. You just did a little switch. You like that? I know. You want to go take it away. Uh, when me and Beshkin, Ben, we were, like, walking around one day. We were in Brooklyn, and we took the train to, this is, like, the day after our show. Took the train to Lower East Side to walk around, you know, check out the vibes. And and then we're like, all right, we got to get back. 
It was just supposed to be like a quick little bada bing bada boop. Never. He li- they live right by a uh, an L station, so it was in and out. We go to get back on the subway, and it's just that station is closed. <laughs> That's the how one, it always. The goes. one we just got off. Like we were there probably like thirty minutes before. And they're like, it's closed, maintenance. And we're like, what? <laughs> Why you got it? What? Like, what? <laughs> we were just on it. It's like 2 o'clock on a oh Saturday. And, uh, and and Ben's like, this is not good. I go, well, chill, bro. Like, it's not a big deal. He's like, no, you don't understand. That's the only train. Like, back to Brook. <laughs> like, he's like, this isn't good. He's like, we got to go all the way up to, like, uh, I think it's called the Bro- – then we got to, like, cross over, like, the Brooklyn Bridge now. We got to go all the way north. It was just you were like, you were not in your element. No, dude, it turned into like a fifty dollar Uber. Really? Yeah, I lost fifty dollars just like that. Took it. They took it from you. Or actually, big pink. Probably you lost. big pinked it. I might have big pinked. You it. probably big pinked it. I might have. Hey. Um, but yeah, New York is just like. I don't know what we were thinking. I think. <laughs> what were we thinking? How did this come up? The, through the, Ben, the New York is spinning show. Yeah, like how did we decide? Like, let's go to New York and throw a show. Oh, that'll do. That'll, that'll happen. Well, we we did the Austin show, so we were very much like, okay, we got a concept. Let's try applying it outside of the Detroit scene. And yeah. so we applied it at, in Austin for South by, and then um, and that went okay. We had fun. We, we, bro- we the had fun. We didn't lose any money on that trip because it was crowdfunded. <laughs> So we were feeling good. We were like, we can go to New York and throw a show. So we, you know, Ben had played the South by show. And then we were like, how can we, you know, take this concept to New York? And he, he lived he, in he New played York. our D, uh, Detroit show too, Detroit is spooky. Yeah. So, you know, he's played a few show with us, a few shows with us. And we were like, you know, let's, let's throw a show in New York. Spurge played our South by. Mm-hmm. Um, we, we had things in motion. We had an idea there and we were just trying to make it happen. We love New York. I love New. I would definitely throw another show out there again at some point. Yeah, New York is crazy. We had, I mean, yeah, you got to go back and listen to that that NYC story from when we were like eighteen. That New York trip was was wild. I yeah. feel like every time we go there, it's it's uh, it's I think it just matches our energy every time. It's it's good for us. But we gotta li- every time. It's like okay, it's time to leave. Like I'm ready to go. Yeah, every time I'm like, <laughs> I, we gotta dip. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. Uh. I'm running out of money and I'm tired, but yeah, I, I guess yeah. We just thought we could do it. We we're coming off of a uh, we were coming off of a show that did really well. Our one year anniversary show. We made money. It was dope. Everything was good. We felt really good about it. Oh yeah. Um. So I think I don't know. I think just like going into it, we had some confidence. Um, I was definitely excited. I was pumped. I was very stoked. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't like I was on tour because we were in New York. I remember I was uh, in New York with Sun Squabby. They were playing uh, Sirius Radio. Oh, whoa! Jam on! You the, were with the, them like the same week? No, like months before in April. Okay, okay. And, oh yeah, and then you went and, and scoped I it out. Sco- the I scoped it out. We were staying. We were on our tour bus. Was in New Jersey, right across the river, at some God knows where hotel. And uh, and I remember because we went in to the serious like studios. It's big si- skyscraper yeah. in Manhattan. That was sick. Met Howard Stern. That was tight. You met him? Yeah, I said what up to him. Really? Yeah, I went to I went to go use the bathroom and I was in the hallway, and he's just like hanging out in the hallway. I was like, "How's it going?" <laughs> he's like, "How you doing?" I'm like, "Good." He's like, "Good." <laughs> and he walked away. <laughs> that was it. That was yeah, it. Basically, dude. best friends. Though. He's tall. He's really? A, yeah, he's a tall guy. Like six three, six five. I'm gonna pin seven. him. Someone go Google this. First person to comment Howard Stern's height. Yeah, we need <laughs> in the uh, in the <laughs> in the comment section gets uh, a subscribe on Twitch. Hey, there you go. Uh, I'm gonna guess six two. Look but, it up. But he might have had those like nice dress shoes on that kind of raise you up a little bit. We got to put it on a... Oh wait, how tall is he? Ari. Come on, Ari. Someone Google it. Someone Google it. Who's yeah, going to do it? Yeah, Chesney. He's 6'5". Six he's 6'5". Six five. Five. Told you he's That's tall. wild. That's wild. What if he was like 5'8", and you, I just was lying <laughs> about the whole thing? Yeah, he's like 5'8". Yeah. 
I swear it was him. I swear it was just him. some dude with curly hair. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we did that, and then another thing I remember, because we were in New Jersey, we're basically staying under a bridge in our tour bus. It was like wild. What? We were posted up at this hotel that was just like sketchy, yeah. but they let us park in their parking lot. What? I don't know, bro. It was weird, but we I went had to an agreement. I went to see uh, what was that Jordan Peele? What was the follow up to Get Out? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, with the scissors, us, us. I went and watched us alone at the theater. Something to do. Something to do. I was bored in New Jersey. Went to the movie theater, watched us. And then I had to walk back to the tour bus, like under a bridge, like through an overpass, down like a tunnel. And I was, pardon my French, shitting my pants the whole walk home. I was so scared. Really? Yeah, bro. It was the dumbest thing. Go watch a horror movie and then walk home alone yeah. in New Jersey. At dark, you know, at like night. I'm a Midwest boy, okay? That's not where... Uh, I'm not used to the the trains and the steam. I feel like I'm in like uh, like Batman or something. Yeah, you're like, I shouldn't be here. It's not safe. I'm like... I'm, this is Gotham. I FaceTimed Courtney and I was like, if I drop the phone, like ping my location, call the authorities. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like you're, you're my only line of defense right now. So... You made it though. Yeah. So anyways, all that's to say, I scoped out this venue, Transpicos. Yeah, that was the spot. And I just walked in, I remember, and there was, like, nobody there, but the door was open. And they were, like, finally one guy came out. He was, like, can I help you? And I was just, like, I think I'm throwing a show here in, like, two months. And uh, and he showed me around. It's a dope spot. They got a cool backyard, too. Yeah. It reminds me of, like, a there's this place. What's it called in Chicago? It's in a house. It's a venue in a house. Do you remember that place? Do you remember that place? I think I remember it. It's called like the backyard or the out. It's ah, oh, it's got some name. Something. Um, but it was really small, intimate, huge patio. Yep. Um, and affordable. Definitely. That was, was that's what we were looking for. Something yeah. affordable. Someone who would let us throw a show, and it wouldn't be over a thousand dollars. Yeah, I think that's one thing New York has going for it is like it is so competitive that like artists, uh, venues, people are willing to work for, yeah, you know, reasonable prices because it's so competitive. You have to you can't just be like out here charging crazy amounts of money for a space. Exactly. Um, it was do, do we have hollow as an option too? Yeah, it was, it was remember it was like two blocks away. It was like or maybe it was like Hollow was away. a vibe. Remember when we when we yeah. went there? Yeah, it was sick. I would have went back. Hollow was tight. Holo, hollow? Hollow. Hollow. Yeah, I would definitely go back. That was crazy. Back. So this place had a separate dance room. And it was like crazy speaker system in there. Yeah, and it was it was double doored, so it was like a an, a vestibule. Like you went through the doors. So there was never like because they would have two DJs. They would have like the dancing room DJ and they would have someone DJing in like. That's a vibe. Yeah. Just Maybe completely we, separate. Could be a cool idea for here. Just multiple DJs. That room, I, I remember, just felt like like the Thunderdome. Yeah. I, I felt like I walked in there and like everyone was like dancing and I was just like scoping the place out. And I was, I just felt like, I was like, oh, whoa, let me catch you guys later. That's the vibe in here. Yeah. It was wild, bro. Yeah. Um, but that place was cool, but we ended up going trans Picos. I think they were available on the date that we wanted. Um, so, so yeah, we had found this venue. It was pretty affordable. Our flights were the only other thing that we had to figure out. Yeah. I had never been to the venue, by the way. I was only at the venue or I only knew about the venue like day through, of? yeah, through like, Referral. We knew about it through Ben. Ben told us about it. Yeah. So yeah. he was, I mean, he really was like the plug for this show. He, yeah, he linked, linked us up with everyone. Um, Who linked us up with Billy Hahn? Oh, man. Dude, uh, Gina, her name is. She lives in Detroit now. We were at, Courtney and I were at this like party that Screw did with Wetico. You okay. know the artist, the yeah, painter? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was at like his apartment, and uh, and we met this couple, and the girl was like, I, I, we were talking about Big Pink, and I was like, we're throwing this show in New York, and she's like, I used to live in Brooklyn. Um, if you need artists, like recommendations, I know a few artists out there. I was like, definitely, and 
so she gave me a list of people and one of the guys she's like he does like paper mache like really psychedelic paper art so sick and i'm like i need that yeah i need to so like, see it i hit uh she she linked me up and we hit him up and basically he does like these crazy cardboard cutout paintings and he puts like they're like fluorescent he puts lights on them and at first when i heard about that i was like i just didn't see the vision i yeah. was like we're gonna just have cardboard like on our stage yeah I feel like that's not like immersive. I feel like that's like, <laughs> like, ju- like lower school, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 kindergarten, yeah, like, like play kind of vibes. Definitely. However, I was proven wrong because I saw like videos of his stuff and it was crazy, mind blowing. Like aliens. I don't know. It was cool. He like he would do these cardboard cutouts and essentially like, so he he would ma- take fire and like cut out cardboard and make it look like fire. Yeah. And then he would point lights at them Mm -hmm. he would point like red yellow orange lights at them so it looked like you know these cardboards were on fire and you know he would do a sky he would do alien faces so here chesney can you switch the camera for i got you can you see can you can you guys see it so this was that's billy han right here that's the legend the legend Billy. i said can i take a photo of you and that's what he did um but you can see he got like these like little alien dudes and they're like behind. We had a projector going. It honestly was like more immersive than I thought it would be. Um, it looked pretty cool. So that was his. Yeah. Look at this one. Go to four again. Is it on it? Looks so sick. That one looks crazy. You know, like that's wild. And it's like a basic stage and he just turned it into honestly something amazing. So, um, so yeah, that was that was Billy Hahn. He uh, you watching it? Yeah, I'm just checking the audio levels, making sure it's cool. Just checking the levels. Checking the levels. Yeah, our levels is coming in good. Um, so yeah, Billy Hahn was through a Detroit Connect. Crazy. Yeah, that's like the thing with all these shows. We never have a plan. We just put it out in the world. See what comes to like us. We were. I was already throwing this show in New York, and I just I. That's my that's my always my marketing. What? Once we decide like, oh, we have a show on this date, I don't care who I'm talking to, I don't care if I'm at church or if I'm at a show. Tell everyone. Uh, they're like, Hey, what's your name? I'm like, I'm Chester. I have a show on October eighth. You know, like I always just plug it. Yeah. And then people always like come up with like oh, my boy does live projection and I'm like yeah. boom. Or like my friend has a space. And uh I mean that like think about that show without Billy Hunt. Not as I mean, it he would re- definitely wouldn't have been as dope. No. Billy Han brought life to it. He elevated it. I hit him up. I was gonna have him call in, uh, but he, unfortunately, uh, he's he said he was out late tonight. Couldn't Dang. call in, but um, he did send me a picture. I said, "Where's your Instagram? We want to tag you." He said, "I'm off Instagram. I'm just enjoying life." Really? And I was like, "That's tight, man." And uh, and he said he was building this hut on the beach. Where? Like probably like Rockaway Beach or I don't know. Wow. There's like beaches in New York. Um, it, it was it was wild. He's he's a wild cat. He's he, a he used to throw raves in. He was like a huge party promoter in New York. Really? At one point, in like the early 2000s. What? Like apparently he threw the biggest raves in New York. What? At one point, yeah. How'd you hear that? Like he told you? Well, no, he told me a little bit, and then I asked someone else. Down. Can you turn him down just a little bit? I'm a little hot. Yeah, just like turn, like just a smidge on both of ours. Um. Yeah, that sounds better. Yeah, that's good. Sweet. I forget what did he tell me. Someone else told me that. Someone's like Billy Han. Like he used to throw these crazy shows, and I was yeah. like, really? And then I asked him about it. He told me a little bit, but then he was telling me something else. He was cracking me up. We went to this bodega together, like right before the show. Yeah. Just me and him. We had a great conversation. Okay. About uh that's yours, I think. Yeah, we good. Um just about life. I think we talked about sobriety a little bit. I told him I was sober. He's not sober. I don't know. I think he he was. I don't know. I have no idea actually. But he was just into it. Cool. He was just giving me energy, bro. He's like he's a very present person. 
Yeah, when I met him, he was like just great energy, just very much like firecracker, firecracker, bringing the good vibes. Yeah, and his haircut was sick. Yeah, well, his whole fit was like. I'm pretty sure you told me he was doing like Fila designs or something, or maybe I just like make up shit about this guy. Yeah, <laughs> ever, no, Fila. He worked. He did like maybe. I don't know some type of like art direction for Fila. What? Yeah. Damn, I wish we could have call had him call in. Yeah. It's hard, man. You forget about these beautiful people that you meet. You get the memories, the way, though. The memories. I know. That's why we do this podcast. It's Straight uh, up. It's just a, a way to encapsulate it. Definitely. Um, yeah, we got to work with him, man. We'll get. I mean, we try, We literally, I think we hit him up for a show where we were going to get him to fly out here for our we one We were year. ready to fly him out here. Yeah. To, like, do full art direction for a show. What happened? Well, our next show was a bit of a bust. Which one was that? It rained. That was under the sun. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That wouldn't have made sense. A lot of money wasn't coming in like it was money, supposed to. Yeah. So that was just a weird day too. Remember? Uh, yeah. That was. I mean, bro, I I grinded on uh. I remember. On those uh, pallets. Yeah. Oh my gosh, bro, <laughs> that was hectic. What? That's, that's Why? the next episode. Next episode. Next episode. Is that camera off? Is it good? I got you. Um, but this episode, no. Uh, New York. Um. Yeah, it was wild. We kept our expenses relatively low, though. Definitely. Our flights we got for like some cheap flights. I remember flying out. That was fun. Yep, we definitely flew out. Did we fly out together? That was crazy. Why? Just because, like, you, you throw these shows and, like, you don't even know what you're doing. Like, go listen to every episode that we've that we've talked about. And, you know, all that created, like, us being able to just, like, buy a flight and throw a show in New York. Yeah. Try it out. Try it out. See what happens. And uh, that's crazy to me. It always blows my mind. Even, like, when we can buy food. Because of shows? Yeah, just, like, buy a meal. I'm just, like... Wow. We worked for that. That's what, that's what our work gave us. Yeah, Chester and I have this thing, like anytime we throw a successful show, or if we make, you know, successful to us Break is even. make a dollar. Yeah. Yeah, we'll make one dollar. <laughs> it's a good show. If it's a good show, we always celebrate by getting a, a nice meal. I think in New York we got some, some dollar pizza. We got Bon Mies. Oh, my gosh. You remember the <laughs> munch was all about the Bon Mies on this show. <laughs> he had like a Bon Mie every, every every meal. Every meal for like two days. Yeah, it was, it was my vibe. <laughs> you were all about the bomb Yeah, S- we, still am. We had fun. We we did uh we stayed like an extra day, and then remember I flew out to do a festival with Big Gigantic. You did. You went I to, flew to Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Yep, and they got upset. Well, Jeremy, <laughs> the Uber from from our Airbnb to the airport was like a hundred dollars. Wow. And uh, you know, I invoiced them that, and they were like a hundred dollar Uber, Chester. Come on. <laughs> Take the train next time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I felt bad, but no, it was like five a.m. though. I couldn't. Yeah, yeah, it was an early flight. Yeah, you had to get out early. <laughs> I oh was, I was surprised you made it. Honestly, yeah, we, I was, we always do that. I always pick like the hardest schedule. You're like, no, no, no. It'll be easy. I can do it. It's like, dude. Well, no, I could. I, what I sh- could have done is just said no to the big because I had this show booked. I was like, they were like, hey, can you be in Milwaukee on Saturday? And I'm like, well, I'll be in New York. So if you can give me a flight from New York to Milwaukee, let's do it. And uh, and I went and shot that festival. It was a fun festival. What festival was it? Summerfest. It's like one of the biggest festivals in the country. It's really? like two weeks long. I think Celine Dion. Oh no, who was playing our night? Uh, Lionel Richie was what? that was the headliner our night. That's kind of dope. But it's like two hundred thousand people. What? Over yeah, or like half a million, I think, over the whole thing. It's like a it's like a jazz fest kind of vibe. Ooh, okay. Two weeks, tons of stages. It's a huge festival. Cool. It's been there since like the eighties. Tight. Yeah. It's good. It's like a Milwaukee uh staple. So I had to fly out to do that. But um Yeah, we got there early and then we ended up doing all this fun stuff. We went to that ping pong spot. Hold up. You're going to show them the video? I'm, I'm going to need that camera four in about 10 seconds. Camera four in 10 seconds. I'm loving this camera four. Camera four is a vibe. Should Hold we, on. Should we launch Reddit, by the way? Reddit is? Oh, we live on Reddit. <laughs> I didn't even know we were live Here, on Reddit. Go with camera four real quick. So here's Munch. We got Munch on the train. 
Looking good. Can you see it, Mark? Yeah, I love. Wait, it's showing. <laughs> this is New York. That's New York. We did all these. Where's the ping pong? This is me morning of. Uh, can you see it? I can't see it on my on my phone. Oh, I see it. Clowning, bro. Oh my gosh. There's a little munchie. All right, here, go go uh, camera. So what no one. <laughs> What are you showing? The I, food? Well, I got to scroll through the photos, and you can't do that live. Oh, yeah, you can't do that. I got to find what I need to find first. <laughs> <laughs> can't be perusing. <laughs> Gotten lucky so far. You never know what will pop up. All right, I want to find the ping pong. I want to find you in the ping pong spot. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, bro. I mean, that's reckless behavior. When someone pulls up on me and starts like, yo, look at this picture, and starts going through the photos, I'm like, yeah, yo, yo, chill, yo, chill, 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 chill. <laughs> I don't need to see all that. <laughs> oh, my God. Hold on. Where is... Someone goes, more Subway Munch camera roll content, please. Oh, you know what it was? It was what? on our It was on our story. That was what it was. Our story archive. All right. Hit me with, hit me with a camera for it. You guys are going get to get to see the archive. So this was our... <laughs> Shout out, Ari. This was our, uh, this was our tr- flyer. Very sick flyer, I think. Maher crushed it. There's me talking. It's our little video version. Classic. But let's find let's find what the people really want. <laughs> he goes he goes, excuse me, am I someone to you, Munch? Well, you're dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Ari. Oh, oh man. yeah, that flyer looks Am sick. I someone to you? Alright, we're here's here's all right. We going to New York. Oh, that shirt is sick. Where'd you get that? Oh, that's uh, what do you call it? Online ceramics. You need that. Yeah. Munch fooling at the gate. <laughs> Munch fooling. What was I doing? Oh my god, bro! This was at five twenty-two a.m. We got the cheap flight. <laughs> we got that cheap Spirit Air six a.m. flight. <laughs> Get to New York as early as possible. Oh my gosh, bro! I think this is when we found out we were throwing a show on the same weekend as Pride in New York. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god remember we went to that <laughs> comedy dude we tried to go to this comedy, the comedy show. show the comedy show we tried to go show. to the comedy cellar and we go and there's like a full-blown riot not a riot but just like no it's like a rager it's a pride rager, in new york bro it was like we were like all right get off on this stop and we see pe- like a lot of people like coming towards us leaving the city a lot of booty shorts a lot of on booty both shorts. men and women it was a vibe it was a party it, it was, was a party a rager so we walk out the subway and, and we're like, all right, let's go to this comedy club. No one's going to be here. And everyone gets off the subway with us. Like, this is the stop. <laughs> yeah, we're and like. We start walking up and we're here like, doom, 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 doom. And we're like, whoa, whoa. what are we walking into? <laughs> and we get to the street level. There's no cars. There's only people. It literally looks like like, the, like the Giants won the Super Bowl or something. It was crazy. Like, the was, the biggest party I've ever seen in, in the streets. All right, hold up. Give me a little camera four real quick. Camera four. All right, this is this is Maher. Hold on, see if I can rotate it. Is it rotated? I can't see. I gotta see it on your phone. No. Well, it's all right. You guys, this is Maher at the uh, ping pong spot at eleven twenty three. That's a week. <laughs> Come on, bro. You can't be falling asleep at eleven twenty three in New York. <laughs> I was slept. You were slept, bro. You were tired. We were playing a little ping pong. <laughs> I fell asleep. Who who were we playing? There was some dude there. Wait, who were we with? <laughs> oh, that was the homie Jared. <laughs> Who is that, bro? I forget this. You don't remember Jared? I do. <laughs> but how do we know him? I met him in, I think, Jamaica. <laughs> yeah, <bro. laughs> yeah, I think I met him in Jamaica. Munch comes up and is like, yo, we're meeting up with my homie. He I met lives him. out here. He just saw me post on the story because I posted I was promoting this show like, yo, we're going to be playing a uh, we're going to be playing an event in New York. And yeah. like he was following me from like a family trip or something, and eventually, you know, he hit me up. He's like, "I live out here, bro. Let's chill." And he he hit me up. He came and played ping. He pong. came and played ping pong. He we, played ping pong. Did I go to Kid Super? You did. You were like, "Oh, should I go?" I was like, "I'm gonna go to bed," but you should go. I did went. He, I, yeah, I linked up with. Uh, I think you say his name, Deckel. I don't know. Was uh, didn't Jonah put you in contact with him? Yeah. So that was kind of cool. I got to go to Kid Super. I got a little tour of their space. Big fan of theirs, so that was cool. Um, hold on, let's see. Should we go camera four? Anything else? We got yeah, camera four it up. 
Oh, we went to um, remember this? Tell me. Remember Spurge's DJ set at that one place, Black Flamingo. We did go there. That was a that was a fun show. That was a cool spot. I really enjoyed that. Dude, the the uh, sound system there was money. Money, and it was like a super intimate show. Imagine going to that show today. If you wouldn't. What is this? Oh my god, this is on their front door cam. What am I doing, bro? What? This is me on the front door cam. Oh, I do remember that. Is uh, our, the homie Jose Benjamin? Let's talk about that, those two for a minute. So, so where are we at in, in the story of the show right now? Where are we at? I don't even know if it's a story, bro. We just been talking. Yeah. I feel like we've covered. So, like, okay, let let's get back to the framework. So, we threw a show in New York. What day was the show? June twenty eighth, I think. Okay, so June twenty eighth, we threw a show in New York called New York is Spinning. It was our test show to see if we can take our concept and that we built in New York in uh, Detroit. Yeah. And we had it at South by. We were like, can we do it in New York with our friends? Yeah, we so, were throwing these shows. Detroit is spinning. Yeah. New York is spinning was a little test. And um, so, what artist did we have? What artist? We had Seth Magoon. Seth. Seth Magoon. Magoon. Yes, Magoon. Seth Magoon. We had. Uh, Bashkin Yes And then we had Spurge Yeah And we had Alec Batistoni Doing an art installation Photography He did have his photography Um. So yeah Alec Batistoni came through With some sick art And then Corey Johnson Remember? He was gonna come Very good photographer He went to our high, sc- our high school Yeah Never showed up right? No he Hit me up like day of and was just like, can't make it. But good photographer. Good photographer. Bailed on us, though. <laughs> 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 Happens. But Happens. Not the first artist to bail on us. No, I mean, our South by like half the half yeah, the yeah. artist market bailed. More than half. <laughs> but we had people. Goes. Yeah, people pulled up, though. Some some did. Yeah, I think I remember our goal was to it throw. It was 2019 we threw the show, not this year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely not this year. Yeah, we threw a show. You know, we were really positive. We thought, COVID, whatever, man. People will still come out. No one showed up. No, this was a ye- <laughs> year ago. That's when you, that's when you throw in uh, my sound effect. Oh, yeah. Command one. All right. We're not going to hear it, but they hear it. Can they hear it? Oh, they're not. We're not going to hear it, but they hear it. Which one did you play? Let's hear it. Let's hear it. We're going to listen. Didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work. All right, we'll get there another day. It's all right, man. The live stream is... Uh, it's a wave. It's tough, man. We've broken about 48 HDMI cords since we started <laughs> the live streaming. <laughs> we, we do have our production team in the building. Shout out Chesney. Shout out Chesney. Round of applause for Chesney. Hey, what's up, you guys? Oh, she got the mic. I yeah. have a mic. You- <laughs> love it. Um, we love it. We set her up with the mic and everything. Dude, I hate having to have good posture. It's something. So that was something Bob Chris told me in college. What? He's like, something you can always work on is your posture. That's amazing advice. Yeah. <laughs> you can always work on He's that. He's going to be like 89 like this. Just <laughs> flex out. I love, you know, just rolling the shoulders back. Yeah, dude, this is, this is where I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Back to the show. Back to the show. We, those were all the artists, artist market. Yeah, it was, it was very intimate. The place only held about 150 people, right? We packed it out. Packed it. <laughs> yeah, we usually had like 180. No, we had, so we were promoting it. Do we remember how much, remember how hard we went on the spam? <laughs> no. I went to my Facebook Oh my gosh! I remember this. And we both changed our cities on Facebook to New York because it would only show you friends who lived in your hometown. So I changed my hometown in New York City, and then I proceeded to DM every single person on there. Regardless, I mean, I don't know half the people on my Facebook, and I DM'd everybody, messaged them, "Hey, what up? We're throwing a thing." We got suspended. My Facebook got like <laughs> frozen. I just kept doing it though. And then we went on Instagram. 
Did the same thing. We hit up everyone, dude. That was so funny. And I, I was inviting we, people I, I hadn't seen in years. Two. If they all would have came. One, one person actually came from all those messages. But she brought like a few of her friends. Who? Esther Rubian. Nice. I remember. She's uh, she was at uh, Kulabunga. Uh, she was like a counselor nice. or whatever. Um, but yeah, she came. Allison Hacker came. Really? Yeah. Classic. I think so. I think you're right. I think she did. Um, and then other than that, no one that we know. I know. No, I know. Tierra came for a sec. Um. I don't know her, do I? No. Yeah. Michigan? Yep. The Hatches, remember? Uh, Will and Lauren Hatch were supposed to come. The Hatches, you you stayed at their mom's house. On the first NYC adventure. On the adventure. first NYC adventure. I gave them a shout out. But the Hatches. this one, they were supposed to come to my show, and someone didn't show up. <laughs> Stop, man. <laughs> you're looking in that camera like you're staring them in the eyes right now. No, the hatches are, you know, will forever be the homies. But sometimes you don't make it to the show, and that's okay. That's okay. It wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. So, I don't know, but overall, we probably had, like, maybe 20 people show up. No, we got 40. 40 is a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> we had 20 people. But, you know what? It, it, it was a good... Uh, Learning experience. It was a good learning experience, and it was a good amount. It was a good. The quality of the people there was good. People were having fun. Yeah, we had fun. People were dancing. I loved getting to meet all the different uh, artists we worked with, chopping it up with them. Yep. Um, I was so tired. I remember I was really tired for this show. Yeah, we broke it down. I mean, after I think you know what we learned was that it just takes, you know, when you go to New York or any city, you're competing with the big pink medias of that city. Yeah. You know, you're competing with uh oh my wife just called. Gourney. Gourney. Put um, this camera for her in. Should we FaceTime her <laughs> in? Um Yeah, you're competing with the local yeah. scene and you know one one way to get people out obviously is work with great artists, which we did and that of brought course. out definitely some people. Um it was competitive though. It was literally like Pride weekend, so every place was throwing a party. But like with New York, it's always competitive, you know? Yeah. It's like when's there not gonna be a pop in night in New York? Right now. Right now. In COVID. Now's the time. <laughs> Now's the time. <laughs> yeah, I mean it, it was uh <laughs> I think what we learned was I got it. I think what we learned was He goes, he goes, We pop in here right now, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh <laughs> what we learned was that, you know, it's much better for us to just focus our energy on Detroit mm -hmm. until that is solid. Till our, you know, so maybe with this building that we're in now, we can really develop our concept and like leave exactly. things, have it be more permanent and just tweak little things instead of every single show. It's hard to have a concept and every show is a totally new space, a totally new everything. Exactly. You know, you're not you can't replicate the show before. So, you know, we realize that, you know, we'll expand to other cities when it makes sense. Definitely. And when we feel like we really have a concept that works and could work in any other city, you know, definitely. Um, so who knows when, when round two will be in New York, but sooner than later. Yeah. Sooner than later. Damn. I totally forgot about, we found that really cool store on the lower East side. Remember you got a, yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember the one I'm talking about? I still have that shirt. Miracle. That place is sick. Healing, miracle Healing Powers. That's a good shirt. Yeah. I wore it on one of these podcasts, actually. There you go. There you go. Yeah. That was a great trip, man. Every time, I feel like. I got to go back in my, like. If anything, that was just, you know, a fun. That was a fun uh, company retreat. That was our corporate retreat. It was was throwing a show in New York City. And we had fun. We this was fun. June 2019. Yeah. Our show? Yeah. Yeah. It seems like forever ago. It's crazy. Um, oh, yeah. When when we pulled up there, you slept. You're like, man, I'm going to sleep. I was like, I'm going to go catch this studio session. So I actually went to a studio session. 
Where? With Odyssey. Crazy. Yeah, so I went to the studio. You passed out. I came back. We, we, we went and got pizza. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Just this yeah, picture yeah, is yeah. amazing. That was the one I... Uh, that was the one I pulled up, everyone, if, you, if you're wondering. The yeah. one of him sleeping. This was fun. Boomerang. Oh, this is a classic picture. I'm going to airdrop that one to you. What is it? Oh, wait. No, I think I sent that to... Uh, I'm going to cancel that. <laughs> sent it to Chesney accidentally. She doesn't want your photos, bro. Here, do you want to plug it in? Just plug in your phone. I'm going to just send this one to you. You can put it up. All right. I like Camera 4. Camera 4 is You got to be careful with Camera 4, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. Camera four is on. It's not on. Oh my gosh, bro! <laughs> That's a great. We're word. not camera four. In this <laughs> Everyone wants camera four. Give them camera four. Right, yeah. <laughs> I'll camera four that right there. What's that yeah, one? Camera four. That's a. B- that's uh, me with uh, my nails painted. That's more appropriate. Passed out. Passed out. End of story. Off of camera four. <laughs> <laughs> This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. These are so classic. <laughs> so amazing. You wanted to get her to DJ. Yeah. Wild. Oh, and I went to Nowadays on this trip. And we went to Jose's studio. You made this song for I me. I didn't go to Nowadays. Why didn't I go to Nowadays? Because I was working on that poster? You were sleeping. I was not sleeping. Chester made this song for me in New York. This song sucks. It's <laughs> <laughs> a bad song. It was literally you singing. Yeah, well, that's why, yeah, I, that's well, why I don't sing. <laughs> that's why I don't do it. That's why I don't sing. <laughs> uh, I don't sing. <laughs> Dude, nowadays. So no, I was making that poster. Remember the poster I made? No. Bro, come on. I worked so hard on it. What poster? Right when you walked into our show, I put that poster on the wall. Hello, welcome to Big Welcome to New York is spinning. Oh yeah, may pull it up a picture. Hold on, go to camera one. This is why this is he doesn't appreciate the work I do. <laughs> yes, I do. This he doesn't appreciate he doesn't see you know how hard I worked on this poster? I'm about to show it to you guys on camera four. And <laughs> he doesn't even remember it. He, I remember he was I, off in nowadays uh, having lattes, having cocktails with his friends, dancing the what, night away. Well, it was during the day. It was a Sunday. I wasn't drinking. <laughs> <laughs> he was dancing. You know, meanwhile, I'm like a single mother. I wash and dry over I here. I need to see this poster now. I want to show you it. This was after our show. No, this was at the show. This was the show. This was everything. Well, how how could I have been at nowadays? And you were making a poster if it was after the show. <laughs> it wasn't after the show. It was right before the show, day of. I went on Sunday to n- nowadays. All right, maybe your story checks out. <laughs> yeah, like. I think you guys were just upstairs while I was making this. You thing. were either sleeping. All right, camera four. Camera I four. think you were sleeping. I was not sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, well, this, uh, this is what we had. Remember? I remember that poster, yeah. Camera one real quick. He doesn't remember <laughs> it. That was the fakest I remember that I've ever heard. I remember that. Yeah, that was a good poster. That was a great poster. Oh, good one. <laughs> I remember it's it. It's honestly disrespectful. Um, I'm mad. I can't handle you right now. Let's just get through the rest of this episode. <laughs> so I can go home, get away from this poser, <laughs> this Mike poser. I remember the poster. What happened to it? Smoking drive. You're Mike poser, dude. <laughs> Mike, You're a Mike poser. All right. Stop hating on me. Smoke and drive. <laughs> All right. Are we on camera four? Can we go camera four, please? Thank you. All right. This says, welcome to New Yorker Spinning, a community-driven art experience curated by Big Pink Media, a Detroit-based media collective. My handwriting is bad. This is our first ever, no, our first event in New York, and we are so grateful that you came. Our main goal is to create environments that bring people together through art and culture. It was really a reader. A lot of reading before the show. <laughs> uh, so make sure you dance, have fun, and most importantly, be yourself. Oh, I should have put love yourself. At love yourself. 
That, that could have been a great plug for <laughs> Love Yourself. Would have been a great one. Um, and Be Yourself, Chester and Munch. And then I put an arrow. And then I put Follow Big Pink Loves You. Hashtag always be plugging. So, so yeah, we can gold. go for it. That's gold. So as you can see, very high production value we're bringing to this show. <laughs> About $6 at CVS. That was our intro. <laughs> But you know what? I mean, you guys watched the uh, you watched the uh, South by episode. I'm with my marketing, the guerrilla marketing. You know, it it ends nowhere. <laughs> I will market in any way that I can, whether it's flying, whether it's. I'll encourage it. Yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> I remember going up to people in New York and be like, "Yeah, we're throwing a show tonight." Like, yada yada, and people would be like, "Oh, cool." Be like, "Yeah, you should pull up." They'll be like. Where's it at? I'll be like Brooklyn. I'll be like, ah, oh, uh, it's hard to. Uh, I, I can't believe what a big deal people make from going from Manhattan to Brooklyn. It's right there. It's like a big deal to people in New York. Like, remember Apostolus? He wouldn't come. He wouldn't come. <laughs> yeah. He was like shook. He was like, ah, oh. he's like Brooklyn. Let's meet in Lower East Side. Yeah. I was like, it's a train ride. Yeah. You just, just come sit out there. Here. You just, just sit. come out. Yeah. You just sit and you end up at your location and you end up where where we're at. But nah, that's a hefty subway ride. <laughs> yeah, bro. People are like, ah, we talking uh, Williamsburg? We talking Bushwick? Yeah, we talking Dumbo? We talking people? We would say Bushwick, which is basically Queens. Yeah, at that point. And uh, what did we do with Apostolus? Just hung out at the crib. Yeah, he just came and said hi. God bless. That's great. The people you meet, man. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. You know, for this episode. Yeah, I feel like I worked hard. I did the work. You were good. you were also there, and <laughs> Big Pink threw a show. Big Pink threw a show. That's pretty much it. I was there for just morale. Honestly, I was just making sure everyone. This was, was the good. start of a very of a cold streak, though, for Big Pink. I would say financially. Really? Yeah, really? we yeah, because we did this and then. Under uh, the sun was was not our fault. That was weather. Under the sun was rain- good in concept. We threw a show outside that got rained out. It's like a, it's like going to a baseball game, but it rains, right? Yeah, it had but potential. Like, I know, but did I'm it not, though? I'm not sitting in the stands in the rain. It was a wild concept. I built uh, basically a city. I can't wait till we out of we, pallets. I can't wait till we camera four that that one. Dude, that camera four is gonna be lit. Lit next episode. Um, I don't know how much time. How much time are we running on right now? Who's uh who's in the comment section? I've been seeing Ari. I've been seeing uh Jenny in there. I've been seeing Datson. Yeah, we got some love. Who's watching? Throw us some comments if you guys are watching right now. We want to shout out everyone. Oh, that's why I'm like it's cuz I'm on a camera for it. <laughs> I wonder if I have any good videos from this trip. If I can camera for anything. Thank you, Game Changer. Um, we can want to do it. We can do a quick. If anyone's watching, in uh, <laughs> what up, Bobby? If anyone's watching, let's do a quick Q and A. Yeah, yeah. So ask us anything about the shows we throw. Um, we'll go rapid fire. Rapid fire. If you have any questions, anything about know. throwing shows, anything about Should just we get some? our lives, yeah. our preferences, whatever you want. You know, favorite food for me is macaroons. Mochi. That's my favorite food. Um, where'd you get that shirt? I've had this one for a little while. Nice. Très okay. bien. Très bien. Dude, we got to throw a show in uh, Europe. That's the next one. Dude, I'm ready. Underground Resistance says uh, goes to B- Berlin. They got the Berlin plug. Uh, you, could, you could actually hit hold. What is this music? Yeah, you want to get some music going? Oh yeah! Let's let's do uh, let's do four again, right? Look, Chesney's becoming a DJ right now. Let's see if we got any questions over here from the shows we throw. Munch, did you send out all the whistle face orders last week? I Not- sent out all the orders except one. One of them I did quality control on, and we got to remake one piece. So it honestly might have been you. It's it, it's going to California, so. All right, here we go. We got a good question about the music industry from Ari. Do you guys think Margaret Thatcher effectively utilized girl power by funneling money into illegal paramilitary death camps in Northern Ireland? Not quite the Q&A that we were thinking was going <laughs> to come in. But I'm going to come at you with uh, 
No. That's my answer. Um, no. We throw electronic music shows. Are you going to let it? You, could, you can get on the mic, Chesney. Where, we got a question from Bong Expert. Where does one get a from custom? From Bong? <laughs> yeah. Where does one get a custom neon sign like Big Tape? Yo, first thing you got to do, man, you got to sell your bong, okay? You got to sell the bong because these things can be a little bit of it. Uh, it can be expensive. <laughs> Especially if you I mean, you're, fix a, you're, an, you're an expert on bongs. I feel like neon isn't that different than a bong. It just lights Glass. up. It just lights up. Now, first thing you got to do, you got to go back to 1995 and you got to get born into a family with two older brothers. Then you have to form relationships with them and be a good younger brother to them. And then maybe one day on Christmas, they'll both pitch in and buy you a neon with your with your business name on it. Shout out to Troy and Tyler, my older brothers. They bought me this for Christmas two years ago or last year. So that's where we got it. But I think probably a Google search, you can get a neon sign. Shout out bong expert. Put down the bong, pick up the, pick up the Google. I'd love a custom sign with that with my name. That'd be sick. Just like Toby or Chester. Or a bong <laughs> expert. Yeah. Dude. All right. How about this? If you if you tune in to all of our streams for the next year. Every time. Every time. We will buy you a neon sign that says bong expert. Chester will buy you a neon sign. Maher, love yourself, will pitch in. Hold on. What's that? We're getting a message from love yourself. The Detroit-based clothing company. They're saying that they're going to pitch in $1,000 for the next person who comments and subscribes to Big Pink on Twitch. Wow. Thank you, Love Yourself, for the kind donation. That is false advertising. Uh, they also have been sponsoring this episode. Uh, they give us about two fifty an episode to throw in a plug. Thank you. So, yeah, buy Love Yourself or whatever. Honestly, I don't even care. I just want that bread. <laughs> Yo, thank you all so much for everyone tuning in. I don't know if we have any more questions, though. Yo, Bong Expert just we followed do. us. We do. We have some more questions. Really? Yes, we have a I question. I that you have a microphone, Chesney. From, yeah, it's nice, huh? It is from nice. From CA Game Changer. Any interest in throwing shows in San Francisco? Honestly, we've had one of our homies, uh, Hoagie, who's out in San Francisco. If, it, if it's anything like New York is spinning, probably not anytime soon. Yeah, I'm going to go. I mean, San Francisco is expensive, too. I'm going to go ahead and say interest, yes. Any interest within the next, you know, 24 calendar months? No. I'm going to say no. But you never know. If, if the uh, if you live in San Francisco, maybe Maybe you'll come here. You'll come to the Detroit show. Yeah, that's the move. Yeah. Yeah, we, we just bought a building in Detroit, so probably going to be here for a minute. It's a little while. Anything else from Bong Expert? Nothing else from Bong Expert so far. I think we're caught up on our questions. Anything you want to leave the people with? No, just uh, stay safe out there. Support your local artists. Go watch some live streams. Yes, and catch our live stream. We do that pretty often. Yeah, we've been we've been getting after it. Um, so yeah, thank you. Is that it? I think that's it, bro. What do you want to say? What did you learn from this show? Not to throw a show in New York. <laughs> Really? No, not. Uh, I think I learned just kind of where we were as like a brand. We're not really, you know, we're a Detroit brand right now, and we have a lot. We have a lot of growing in Detroit before it really makes sense for us to like branch out and go to other cities. Um, you know, as we are currently now. If like we linked up with an artist and they were really interested in doing like a collab, then you know that that's something else. But yeah, I think it just taught me that like. Let's put all our energy into creating a Detroit brand that's, you know, solid in Detroit before we, we start, you know, going everywhere. That's a great perspective. Yeah. You know, don't rush into things essentially and just focus on growing the home base. What did you learn? Prep. Prep more. Know, know what other events are going on in the city maybe. I don't know. Be aware. Oh, hold up. Courtney just texted me. Got to answer my question. What was your question? Yeah, we got another question. It is. What up, Courtney? Do you think it's important to empower female artists? Always. Did it break up? So Courtney's question was, do you think it's important to empower female artists? Yeah, I mean, I think it's important to 
empower any you know like underserved group in the industry that you're in so for us it's live music um you know a lot of male white djs for sure and in detroit you know being predominantly a black city and the world being predominantly female yeah more women in the world you know it makes no sense that we couldn't have eclectic lineups and i mean we've had some amazing female djs and producers at our shows yeah another thing that was hard is we just like specifically with this show is we didn't know the local scene we were just running with referrals you know like the reason we got seth magoon and spurge on the lineup is because of ben you know so we were kind of taking his advice but I think we always, especially in Detroit, we always make a conscious effort to make sure that there's representation on our lineups, you know, for people that, you know, are underrepresented. And I think this is dead. It's, uh, all right, all right. I think it's, um, people like Courtney are invaluable because she's always reminding me, you know, hey, this is a good opportunity to, you know, add diversity. This is, you know, you want to make a brand that's inclusive. You don't want to have a brand that's just seen as another EDM brand for, you know, for dudes. Definitely. Um, where like women are over sexualized men are, you know, like worshiped. I think EDM has a huge problem with definitely the over sexualization of women and the over like glorification of, you know, just like these DJs when really it should be about the music and the communities surrounding the music exactly and i feel like that's what's really important about our shows we bring a lot of different corners of the artist community together so you aren't there for one reason you know it's not a show where like you're gonna go there just to get you know fucked up with your friends for and see the headliner like that's not the goal the goal is to come and like connect with the artist community in like different ways that you're not used to and it's it's supposed to be a little uncomfortable and and the whole concept too that we came up with for Detroit is spinning was like decentralized, which literally takes away from this like uh, celebrity or like this like obsession we have with, you know, putting all the attention on one person. The headliner. Yeah, the headliner, which is just like I get it, and I'm sure as we throw more shows, we're gonna book big headliners. Yeah. It's just you know, there's amazing artists out there who bring a lot of people out, but. Um, it can't be at the expense of the community that like has helped those headliners become who they are. Exactly. And at the end of the day, we're a Detroit brand. So it's up to us to find Detroiters, people in Michigan and Detroit who are talented, who have different backgrounds, who definitely uh, have something to say. And, you know, we're the channel to give them a voice. Like literally we're uh, the microphone, you know? So, um, so yeah, that's, Always going to be the goal. Every time. Every show we throw. Hopefully we can, I mean, start putting lineups together. Right now it's just been more of uh, one DJ at a time with these live streams. Yeah, but just slow and steady. I love putting together a nice lineup. Love it. It's my favorite. Whereas it's just like. It works. It's got a little, little Flow. bit of everything. It works. It's going to be a good vibe through the whole night. I miss that. So that's it. Any more questions? Awesome. Caught a few questions. Did our first live stream, episode 12. That was fun. I had a good time. Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah, I think it worked. So we'll we'll upload this to YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Let's get it. Um, I'll probably edit a couple things in there, but uh, if you watch this live, congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you so much. It's our first live show. We appreciate you. Should we hear a little exit music? Sure. Let's do eight. Okay. Is that okay? Uh, nah, that ain't the one. Ah, hold up. This hey. is more of an intro. Okay. Okay. You can hit a little freestyle? I was like, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs>